if you've been watching my videos, you will know that Airshow has been struggling with iOS 10, whereby if you try and play videos that were recorded with Smooth Seeking turned off, the playback doesn't actually show you anything. You can play a recording and the timeline does play and you may be able to hear things, but you can't actually see anything on video. However, I may have found a fix for it. The application you want from the App Store is iConv, which is a free video converter. And what we're going to do is convert the video, but not actually change any of the content of it. So, download the application and then open it up. Next, press the plus button in the top left hand corner and then tap on local libraries. You should be able to tell the video you want to import because it'll look like an audio file, but it says screen recording with show and you can check the length of the video to make sure you're importing the right one. Tap on it and then tap import. Once imported into the application, tap on done and you should see the video file by itself now. Tap on it again, then tap convert and then tap default and what this does is convert the mp4 file into a mov file which is more friendly to ios devices but it shouldn't change any of the content now tap on the converted button at the bottom of the screen tap on the movie itself and finally tap save to photos once that process is complete you can exit out of the program and go to your photo gallery and see what we have Let's have a look at the original Airshow recording first. I recorded it on a Tuesday. It's 47 seconds long, but there is no thumbnail because the video won't play back. Now let's have a look at the new one. It's 48 seconds long, but it does have a thumbnail and it plays. This is the converted file. So to summarize, I made an Airshow screen recording with Smooth Seeking turned off on an iOS 10 device. And when I play it back, I don't see anything on the video. So what I did is downloaded iconv imported the video, converted it from a MOV file to an MP4 file, and that seemed to fix the problem. Now I did say at the top of this video that this application is free, but I think it does come with one limitation, and that is that you can only convert one video every two and a half hours. So don't stack up a lot of videos that you need getting prepared in a short amount of time. I tested this solution with two Airshow videos and it seemed to work, but I'd really like your feedback to know if this is a potential fix to the current playback issue we have on iOS screen recordings from Airshow. Thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of your tech day, bye for now.